In this video, you will learn about two-factor authentication. We also call this 2FA. We're also going to be letting you know exactly why you need it and pretty much why everybody should be using it nowadays. To begin, let's use a simple concept. Let's say you, the user, you want to log into your online banking website. Right? Now, it doesn't have to be online banking. It could be Facebook, it could be Twitter, or it could be any website that supports 2FA. We're only using the online banking because everyone does some form of online banking nowadays. So in this example, you the user, you have your username and you have your password. You log into the account as long as your credentials are correct. But what if someone with malicious intent also has access to your credentials? As you would expect, they would also be granted access to the account. They could pretty much do whatever they want. They could pretty much change your password and completely lock you out of the system leaving them to do whatever they want. They could withdraw funds, they could close the account, they could do all kinds of things, as you would expect. But what if there was a way to add an additional layer of protection? This is where 2FA comes into play. I'm not going to explain where 2FA came from, how it was built, or all the technical makeups on the back end. We're not going to do that. At a basic level, just think of it like a password that changes every 30 seconds. Now, where exactly do you get 2FA? There are two steps to getting 2FA. One, download and install a 2FA application on your phone via the App Store located on your phone. Two, enable the 2FA feature on the site you wish to sync the app with. Quick note, on any website or application that supports 2FA, 2FA is always disabled by default, so you will need to enable it in order to use it. Now, at a basic level, how exactly does 2FA work? Well, like, like I stated before, all it does is generate a random set of digits every 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, the first set of digits will expire, followed by the next, and the next, and so on, and so on. So how exactly does this all benefit you? Well, remember in the previous situation, the attacker had access to your login credentials before 2FA was enabled? Well, this time, let's say we enabled 2FA on your account, right? So now the attacker, they no longer have access to your online banking website, right? So the act of accessing your account has become very difficult for them for two simple reasons. One, the codes change every 30 seconds, making it very difficult for the attacker to guess. And two, the 2FA codes are only available to you via your cell phone. No one else has access, has access to them. The only way someone will have access to them is if you deliberately gave it to them or if they steal your phone. Now, you're probably asking, well, what happens if someone were to gain access to my account before I enable 2FA? They enable 2FA and synced my account with their cell phone. Well, if this happens to you, then there's literally nothing you can do. The attacker has effectively beat you to the punch, locking you out of your account forever. Now, let's do a small demonstration to see exactly how this stuff works.